Ooh. Looks like we got the car for $15.99.90. Bargain. Alright guys, so today uh, I'm going to be taking these non-standard seats out the bucket seats and the JZX Grande seats I'd say they would be out of the back um, then I got I've only got one set up front and it's a passenger but I was thinking about running like good bucket seats in this anyway um, and if I do make it a drift car, um, I'm not going to run rear seats, but I've got the standard rear seats too. Anyway, so I'll put those in for now. Because I'm either going to make a full on drift build or just a kind of straighter drift car so I can take it to car meets and stuff too. So, yeah, we'll get on to probably taking the back seats out first because that's easier. You don't have to unbolt anything. So we'll just have to kind of move everything out of here. Standard rear coils out. Yeah. Some of the other guys in the loony shed were gonna be getting uh, P plate soon. Well, I've already got mine, but some of the other guys um, with cars like Jared with the GC8. But I can just stand down there. Fuck it. Um, usually, you just pull up. It's that side. Get the other side. There we go. Alright. Now push it down. Oh sorry, SD card came out anyway, it's all pulled out. Um just gotta push the buckles through and then do that. Um so yeah, I'll just get that out and then take this bottom one out and then we'll take the top bit out which I know needs bolts because we took the seats out of my one to put coal overs in it. Throw the seat out. Alright, now for the top bit, I know you just gotta undo these bolts at the bottom. And then it all just pulls out. So, get some tools and do that. And then we'll get these front ones out and then just wait for the guy to pick them up. Get some money out of it. Alright. Alright, so we want to just take this bolt out. It would have been a lot easier if we got this in the Yeah, there's one in the middle here too. out. Alright, so we've taken both middle ones out. Couldn't really find a spot for the camera, seeing as I'm doing this by myself. Someone couldn't hold it, so now we just got this side. So we'll undo this one, and then I'm pretty sure it just all pulls out. Rear seat's all out. Time for the fronts. Alright. Alright, so to start we'll take out the back bolts. Taking them out with the whole rail, because I'm not going to need the rail. And these are actually better rails than standard, because they sit lower. And the roof is pretty low on these cars, to be honest, for the size of them. So, I'll just undo this.
Next one. Alright, while we're back here, we'll just do the other side too. And then we'll move on to the front. This one's not even bolted in on one side. <laughs> Fucking hell. I didn't even realise that. Fuck, that'd be good if you got in a prang. Alright, well... Oh, this one's fucking... Focus it. It's only kind of focus. This one's fucking... Only finger tined in. That's horrible. Well... Guess that was easier. Um, yeah, let's move on to the front. Front ones are in a real bitchy spot under here. Yeah, like near to no room. So I'll take that one out. Do the other side, and then we can pull these cheap bucket seats out. These seats are so dodgy. Alright, so I found something pretty dodgy job with this. Like it's only a seat but still. Look at these welds. So they've got he must have cut the ones off normal JZX. Just walled them to the bottom of these rails. As you can see on all points. What is these back ones? They're really fucked. This one here. Look at this shit. That is some ugly fabrication. See, look at this. So he's just like tacked it to the, orig the original mount to the bottom of this one. And it looks absolutely filthy. Alright. Now to take out the other front. Go to the other side. Grab me trusty spanner. Yeah, I can really film that one. There's no way to put the camera in. It's just quicker to do it like that. As you see, it's a real shit spot to get to. Camera doesn't like focusing in this light. Oh, Jesus. He didn't care about himself. To the left, so. Okay, that way. How loose that is. It would be finger tight if I could get my hand in there. Anyway, we'll get that one undone. Alright, so I got this one out. Anyway, the guy swapped these seats into it because he didn't like... You might just be able to see, this is like a really dark green. Like it's almost grey or black. Um, but he swapped it out because he didn't like the car. And... Like, you'd think someone who cares about the looks so much would make this fit up in here, but he just had the fucking thing on its side, which looks ugly as fuck. And you think that if you want a different seasoning, you would weld them a little better. Like, look at that shit, it's fucking, looks horrible, but everyone has their own standard, I guess. This bolt was finger tight too. Wouldn't be surprised if that one down there is, because it's probably, oh no, this one should be easy to get to. Stink card ran out, because I have fuck all room on it at the moment. On this camera, on the SD card, but look at that, that's loose. First turn, it just turns like that. I almost think it, like, it's tight enough, but it's just. Probably wasn't even looking then. But yeah, it's loose. Like, I didn't even have to struggle or anything. Like, you'd think somewhere where you're sitting in a car, you'd make it a bit safer. Obviously, not tighten them up too much, but. Get that out. Alright. They this one can come out too, so we're done with this. Seats are out. Now I just have to sell them. 
I'm going to put the other one, the stand ones in if I can, unless he's used those mounts like I showed to do that, but I'm um, going to put some transmission fluid in my car and I might, because I've got the blow valve blocked off on it, um, just connect it all back up again because I don't know, just a bit scared it might actually cause weather turbo, even though it's like standard boost and stuff, it's not meant to, but just might prolong the life of my turbos for a bit longer. And then the car looks less molested if I ever plan on selling it.